So after you set up Google Analytics on your website, you probably log into Google Analytics and you're like, whoa, this is so overwhelming. What are you supposed to look at? What are you supposed to do? How do you navigate this whole thing? In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the entire Google Analytics dashboard so you understand how to use it and where to find helpful information about your website traffic. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com where I help you figure out the DIY solutions for website tech and SEO. I'm a big fan of Google Analytics, but I know how overwhelming it can be for beginners. So today I'm going to walk you through the Google Analytics dashboard so that when you log in, you feel confident knowing where things are, what to look at, and how to navigate the entire thing. All right, let's jump into it. All right, so let's dive into the Google Analytics dashboard. So at first glance, it might be a little overwhelming. So in this video, I'm just going to dive into how to navigate this dashboard so that you have a better understanding of where things are and what a few things mean. Okay, so when you log into your Google Analytics, your dashboard might look a little different than mine, but for the most part, you'll see that your numbers live in the main part of the screen here. And then on the left, you'll see your menu, which I'll kind of be diving into shortly. And then you have your accounts up here at the top. If you only have one website, you don't really have to pay attention to this, but if you are opening up like Google Analytics accounts for clients or for other websites that you have, you're gonna um, switch between Google Analytics accounts by using this tab right here. Okay, and then in the bottom left-hand corner here, you see that we have admin. So I'm just gonna click on that, and kind of just show you a few things here. So we have the admin section and then we have the user section. So the user section is pretty self-explanatory, it's kind of just user information. So if we go back to the admin section, it's broken down into three sections, account, property, view. Every account can have different properties, which is usually like different websites. And then every website can have different views. Okay, so that can get a little advanced depending on like filters. Okay, but I just wanted to give an overall, an overall look-see here. Um, if you wanted to find your tracking information for this specific um, website, just click tracking info here, and then you can get your tracking code to go ahead and put it on your website. Okay, so let's go back to the home screen, which you will get to by clicking this home icon here. Okay, so for the most part, Google Analytics will give you a quick overview of information on this home screen here. You will likely see your users, which is the people on your website, and then you'll see sessions, which is a group of interactions that a website visitor takes within a given time frame. Time frame. So, an example is like a single session can have multiple page views, events, social interactions, e-commerce transactions. A single user can have multiple sessions, meaning coming back to your website and start digging around all over again. Okay. So then we have session duration, which is the average of how long these sessions lasted. And then one of the most important things that you want to take note of when you log in is your bounce rate. So ideally for your entire website, you want this to be below 50%. But as you can see, like if you, um, if you just have a blog and like there's certain blog posts, it's not unlikely to have a higher bounce rate because that means that people are reading the blog posts and then leaving the site. So depending on the goal of your website, that might be it. So, you know, don't, don't bounce rate shame yourself. Um, just take note of kind of what the goal of your website is and then figure out if this bounce rate is okay for you or 
if you would like to improve it. So that would go into a little bit more advanced strategy in terms of like your website and keeping people on it longer. But yeah, I just wanted to take note of what that was. So if you scroll down, you'll also see a ton of other information, super helpful if you wanted to just log in and take a look at this. But usually when I log in, I usually play around with this left-hand menu here. So if you click on real time, this is an overview of the users that are on your website right now. So this is helpful to look at if you have a specific campaign going on right now and you wanna see if users are on your site and what they're doing. It's also helpful if you have to make a website change. So if you're going to do some maintenance and your website is gonna be down for a few minutes or a few hours, that's okay sometimes. <laughs> But um, check to make sure that nobody is on it. Or if you have a lot of website traffic and there's never any time where nobody's on it, just try to see if you can hit at a point where there's a small number of people on it at once. So then the other main ones here are ABC. So acquisition, behavior, conversions. So we also, we have audience. Let's just click on this. I personally don't spend a whole lot of time here, but if you wanted to really dive into your audience and their demographics, you can find a whole lot of information in here. You can find out what mobile device they're using, what interests they have, their demographics, more information on the audience. You can see percentages on new visitors versus returning visitors. So this is helpful if... Um, if you're trying to make sure that you're not just getting like your email subscribers over to your website, because those are people that are going to be a returning visitor. They've already been on your website. They already know about you. So we do typically want a pretty high percentage of new visitors, which means that your website is getting more visible to different people. We're attracting new people. We're increasing that visibility. So that's kind of why these numbers are so important. Okay, so the main ones are Acquisition, behavior, conversions. Acquisition, what does that mean? It's basically, how did we acquire our website visitors? Where did they come from? Okay, so if we click on this, we can see an overview of where these, where these humans on our website came from. So you can see for this website in particular, the highest one is organic search, and we have social, so all of your social media platforms. We can actually click on that. We can go a little bit deeper in there we can see exactly which social media platforms. So we're gonna go back. Direct means that the user typed in your um, domain name. They already knew it for this website in particular. It's createitcollective.com. So that means people literally went in and typed in and typed that in in order to find the website. Referral is another website linked back to yours, essentially. So if my main website, Mariah Magazine, if I had a blog post and I was linking over to Create It Collective, those website visitors will probably show up under a referral. So we can click on that and we can see the different, um, the different websites that are bringing people to our site. So this is helpful if you're doing guest posting and things like that. So yeah, you can spend some time here. You'll see that you have a whole bunch of data for each of these channels. So that's always good to look at. And then, I mean, you could definitely spend some time digging into a whole bunch of this. Always note, and I like to warn people about this, is that I think that the default setting for a lot of Google Analytics is either seven days or 30 days. Just note that you can come up here and you can change the date range of the data. So if let's say you just wanna look at June's, go ahead and click that and apply, or we can compare it. So if we wanted to compare June of this year to June of last year, we can go ahead and do that too. Okay, acquisition, where people are coming from. The next important thing is behavior. So what did the website visitor do once they got on your site? This is super important. Because it's, it's, it's one thing to increase website traffic, but if we're increasing it all day long and these people aren't happy with the content that's on there, you're going to see that reflected in some of these numbers. So yeah, we can look at overview. You can see the pages that are getting the most page views, the most traffic. You can go into site content. 
all pages. This is kind of where I spend a lot of time. Well, I spend the most time between acquisition and behavior. So yeah, these are, it depends on how your website's set up, but I know that these are blog posts, okay? This one right here, it's your, your homepage. The about page, this is a category. So this is a category that people are interested in for this one. Um, you can see, yeah, this is, I mean, I, I could honestly create a video going into this far more in depth, but I just wanted to let you know where this information was. So there's also, if you're more of a visual human, this is a behavior flow. And when I say visual, I don't mean that this is like the easiest visualization to take a look at, but it kind of lets you know, like, Hey, these people are coming in from this blog post and most of them are dropping off. But if people are coming in from quick links, which is actually the, um, the Instagram links page that I have in the Instagram bio, I can see where they're going after they land on that page. So they're going, they're clicking on the blog page to view the blog posts, or are they going to the home page, or are they going to, you know, it's just, it's a, it's a flow on, on where these people are going for, or if they're just kind of falling off. Oh, I also wanted to make note really quick that this information can also be viewed in a visual way by clicking this button here. So if you're more of a visual human, you can take a look at it that way. So that's pretty helpful. We have conversions. So this is all about the call to action, setting up and measuring goals. So for example, I don't actually have any set up on this website, but I'll just kind of explain what the deal is. So a conversion could be having a website visitor sign up for a freebie and get on my email list. Or if I'm an e-commerce shop, it could be purchasing a product. The website has different goals. You'll have to kind of take the time and set up in order to see data in here. But it's pretty helpful to see if website visitors are doing exactly what you want them to. So other than that, that is kind of just like a, like a brief overview of the dashboard so that when you are installing this on your website and then you go to actually log into Google Analytics to take a look at the data, now you will kind of know how to navigate the dashboard a little bit easier without having to figure it all out yourself. So I hope that that was helpful. If you're looking for more in-depth information on Google Analytics, I do have an on-demand workshop available. So basically, it will help you increase your website traffic by understanding your current traffic. So if you're overwhelmed by even literally like logging into Google Analytics, or if you want to learn about the overview of the dashboard, um, I also go through in this on-demand virtual workshop, I also go through how to make everything less overwhelming, how to stop messing up your data, which numbers really matter and why, tips to improve your website based on your numbers because, well, data doesn't lie, but it also doesn't give you solutions. So I teach you what to improve on your website based on the numbers that are showing up in Google Analytics. Plus you get access to three step-by-step -step tutorials. So yeah, if Google Analytics is overwhelming to you and you really want to utilize it to its full potential, then definitely sign up for this on-demand workshop that I have, which I will link in the video description below. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button for me really quick and then take a second to comment below and let me know how the tutorial went for you. And if you're not a subscriber just yet, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on all of the DIY website tech and SEO tutorials and videos I have coming your way.